so I've just been into Truro, I didn't get anything. Thing is, you look online sometimes, they've got loads of stuff for sale, and not in the sale, and then when you go in the shop, they haven't got it, so I do uh, It wasn't that important really, I just wanted to go and have a look really. I was only after like a windproof type fleece thing. So yeah, we're at the back of Truro, um, just going to spend about half an hour, an hour and have a brew somewhere as well. Just exploring a few lanes. I came out this way when I came to a motorcycle show at Croft Andy. Helps me in the right gear, Peter, doesn't it? So I just got to remember where I was going last time. I went up that way, I see it, I know where I'm going now. I went down this lane over here on the straight across. I've got the uh, phone up in front of me with the byways on it, so I should, should in theory, throw up. I think that's a cycle track that goes to Portreath, all the way across from Deveron to Portreath. That's another thing I want to do sometime, so. Just got to be a bit careful around here. Google Maps is not working at the moment anyway so we're in the back of beyond I think that's a footpath I can't go up here I know there's a byway in front of me so Yeah, there's lots of um, mine workings and stuff around here, old mines and stuff like that. So there's loads of uh, places to go. There's also lots of byways. When you get out over this way, there's a lot more. Some of them are quite short and some of them are... I've tried one or two in the past and start going down them and they go to nothing really. So either they're not used or overgrown and that might be the case on some of these today so we'll have a look Load around here, so I'm just trying to see where the best stop. There should be one coming up on the left hand side up here. About now.
Oh well, there we go, we'll see what happens with this one. Well, I used to live up in Bedfordshire, there's hardly any of these sort of byways and pathways like this. It's, there's really very few. There's all properties down here anyway, so. Trouble is, I'm trying to stand up and I'll get kicked and whacked around the ear hole by a tree. Having never been down this path before, so. There's a junction here, so it sort of turns around. Track goes down that way, and track goes that way. And go that way or that way. Let's have a look. So we go. If we go straight on, we go down here. I'm surprised I haven't seen any more bikes out, to be honest with you. Gentle walking his dog. You know, these are shared lanes, so you've got to be careful as well. You know, people walking their dogs, horses, cyclists. You could even meet a four-wheel drive car coming the other way, I suppose. These are nice though, this is alright at the moment, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's not too bad. It looks like there's bikes and that go up and come down here, so even vehicles are house here, so... Oh. It's just nice to get sort of off the beaten track. I mean, I'm no, oh, I'm not my age. At 64 years old, I'm not going to be leaping up in the air doing a, the old Red Bull stuff. <laughs> I've done some of that in the past. All right, let's have a look. I can't. Sun, sun's in my eyes. Huh? My map's gone off, so just have to. Just having a look where we are. Right, we go that way, and then we should pick up some the other way. So I'm talking to myself here. First sign of madness, I know. Well, I'm already freaking mad anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I think we're going the right way, there's some more down here. But it's just lovely, you know, it's just lovely getting out of the way from the traffic. I mean, I come through Truro and it's a freaking nightmare. And I mean, it isn't even the holiday season really yet, not full on. 
you get what they call the blue rinses down here at the moment so nice doggies you know and if you sort of like respect other people and you know, as, as on, the, on the trails, they'll keep these byways open for us. That's what, that's what I'd like to think anyway. But, you know, if you abuse them, you know, and, you, and you're silly, you, you, you will end up losing this sort of thing. This is gorgeous down here. I don't know where we are, really. Some lovely properties as well. So now we come down here, there's a road we should come to there. And basically, we should be able to turn. Got to try and work this out. If I turn, it's pretty much straight across. Huh. Keep going. Having never done any of these trails, oh, I'm looking on the wrong side of the road, that's why. So it should come up on the right hand side, not on the, on the left. That's what the old Himalayan's made for though, isn't it, really? <laughs> These sort of lanes. And I find these in so interesting for lovely places. Good doing this boat. I think it's nearly time for coffee actually. Oh, I did have bacon and eggs before I left. The wife made me some bacon and eggs. I was religious at having porridge every single morning, but I've sort of moved away from it a bit. It's uh, I do have it, I do love me, I love me porridge with blueberries and stuff like that on it. But it sort of makes me a bit lethargic in the daytime I find. If I have too much porridge, so I uh, have moved away a little bit. I will have porridge a couple of times a week. And then I'll have scrambled eggs and I'll have a bit of, and then I'll have a bit of toast and then I'll have a bit of bacon. So this is gonna bring us back to a main road. Which is not great, so we'll have to have a look where we can go from here. It's just the whole area is sort of littered with byways and pathways down here. It's just fantastic really. Yeah, you, know, you want to get a not really, it's not hardcore off-roading, there is some trails around here that are pretty uh, fierce, but this is definitely not one. Right, let's, we'll have to have a look where we are now, so I'm going to just pull up here. 
And we're back at Denver. Denver. Well, that's nice. Bit rocky down here. Just take it easy. Because like I said, I've never been down here before. So. It's all good fun though. Got a little water splash here. Old Hemi. This could be uphill now, so it could be fun here. Depends what it's like, really. Let it just chug up here, it should be fine. We'll find somewhere soon. I'm going to have a brew. I'm bloody dying for a cup of coffee. And the wife uh, likes me to let her know how we're getting on and where I am. It's lovely through here, beautiful. She'd love my wife had lots of veggie plants. Right, where are we now? Let's see. I've just noticed I need some fuel as well, so. Well, that's it, we've done a few green lanes, I'm going to sort of uh, swing round and head back towards um, home. Uh, of Perrin. We'll go head towards Carn and Downs. Yeah, so I'm going to sort of be heading back now slowly. I might call in somewhere on the way back and uh, stop on the way. So, um, thanks for watching, I um, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, if you do like the videos, uh, click like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, all good stuff. That lady did not want to move over, did she? But there you go, never mind. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and like I say, thanks for watching. If you like it, if you want to get notific notifications and shit, stuff like that, I think you'd ding the bell. Um, but yeah. I really appreciate all the support and likes and everything else, comments and all that good stuff. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Speak to you all soon. Pete out. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now. Take care.